Hello, hello, my name is Steve Bukowski and this is my good pal Andy. And today we are going to talk to you about how to borrow when subtracting. So you, you don't even have to raise your hand, Andy. Just ask anything you want. I'm right here. Anything I want? Yes, anything you want. Well, if you throw a boomerang and it doesn't come back to you, does that, that mean it's mad at you? Uh, I, I don't even have an answer for that, but I do have some answers about how to borrow when subtracting. Well, what do I need to borrow? I got everything I need right here. I got pizza, I got rainbows. No, 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 not that kind of borrowing. Borrowing is when you are trying to subtract two numbers, but the bottom number is bigger than the top number. Here, let me show you. So, let's say we're trying to subtract the number 9 from the number 27. First off, when we're working with subtraction, the bigger number always goes on top. No, Andy, you don't have to raise your hand, I told you. Well, why does the bigger number have to go on top? Oh, it's simple. The thing I always say that helps kids remember deals with one of your favorite foods. Ice cubes? I don't even have words for that. I'm talking about pizza! Now, when I look at these two numbers, I notice the 7 and the 9 are lined up in the 1's place. And, as I told you earlier, the bigger number always goes on top. Now, I want you to pretend. You walk into a pizza place, and you're starving, you're starving, and you're from Boston. Next, you ask the pizza man for nine slices of pizza, but he only has seven slices of pizza. Oh no! Can he give you the amount of pizza you just asked for? Uh, nope, won't work. If you have nine and he has seven, you're asking for more than he has. Exactly! So he's going to have to call his nearest pizza place! So, like we said earlier, the 9 tried to take away from the 7, but he didn't have enough pizza, so we're going to call the nearest pizza place. I wonder who we could call. Well, how about the 2? Exactamundo, my good man! So the 7 calls up the nearest pizza place, the 2, and asks to borrow some pizza. So you cross out that number and make it 1 less than what it was. So, what is 1 less than the number 2? Uh, number 1, amigo. Whoa! Perfect! Make that a 1 and now we get our pizza. We cross out the 7 and all we do is put a 1 in front of it so it becomes 17. Well, now what? Now is when we subtract. What's 17 minus 9? <laughs> ice cubes? No, not ice cubes. Try again. Is it 8? You got it. So we write the number 8 underneath. But we are still left with that number 1. Oh, no. And there's nothing to subtract from. So what's 1 minus absolutely nothing? Don't you dare say ice cubes! What? Well, 1 minus nothing is 1. Yes, precisely! So all you do is bring down the 1 and BOOM! You get your answer. 18. That was easy. How about we try with a bigger number? Oh, good thinking there, Ice Cubes. Uh, what do you say we try uh, 62 minus 36? So, first things first. I'm the realist. Drop this and let the whole world fell out. Well, it's better than Ice Cubes. Anywho. So, I write this 62 on top because once again it's the bigger number. I write the 36 underneath. And if you look closely, you'll notice that the 2 and the 6 are lined up in the 1's place. Whoa. Now, I want you to pretend you walk into a pizza place and you're starving. You're starving. You're from Boston! So, you ask the pizza man for six slices of pizza, but he only has two slices of pizza. Can he give you the amount of pizza you just asked for? No way, man. Well, why not? 
Man, because you have six and he has two. It's not enough. Now he's getting it. So, as you said, we cannot take six away from two, so we have to call our nearest pizza place the six. Ooh. So, we crossed out the six and make it one less than what it was, a five. We cross out the two and all we do is put a one in front of it and it becomes 12. So, we're left with 12 minus six. Yes, what is it, Andy? Well, it's the answer. It's a six. Yes, you got it! So we write the six in the ones place and go on to the next row of numbers. Since we turn the six into a five, we have to do five minus three. So I want you to pretend that you walk into a pizza place. You're starving! You're starving! You're from Boston! You asked for three slices of pizza, and he only has five slices of pizza. Can he do it? Oh, yeah, man. He's got enough. Exactly. So what's five minus three? Uh, two. Bingo! So you write your two in the tens place, and boom, there's your answer. 62 minus 36 equals 26. Wow, you made that look easy. You've you been sitting here the whole entire time? And Andy, why do you have an entire bottle of ranch dressing in your hand, man? Why do you not have an entire bottle of ranch dressing in your hand? Oh my gosh, who are these people? Oh, is... You actually drank that? Mm-hmm. <laughs>